Hey there team, my name is James and I'm here to help you run strong and run injury free. Today I'm going to take you through a very quick and very effective ankle strengthening routine, particularly perfect for those of you who have recently had ankle injuries and are looking to return to running with confidence in those ankles. Now we're going to start out with heel walks. Great little exercise to start building strength through tibialis anterior, the muscle around the outside of the shin that really helps to control the ankle, you're gonna stay nice and tall, nice and upright, and you're gonna keep your legs straight as you step forwards, simply only touching the ground with your heels. Okay, we're gonna work through one minute, back and forth, back and forth. Use your hands to create a little bit of balance, and over time, you should feel just the fronts of those shins start to get a little bit fatigued. A lot of the muscles that control the ankle joint actually sit up in that shin and calf region rather than being in the foot and ankle themselves. So a lot of the strengthening we need to do after an ankle injury is around that lower leg region, that calf, that front and outside of the shin region. So a lot of the exercises we're gonna do, that's where you're gonna feel the effort. Working through just another length of this, we're doing one minute heel walks. Looks a bit silly, but boy, can I feel the effort now down the outsides of the shin. Now, we're gonna move into one minute of toe walks. So we're gonna come up onto your toes. From here, we're lifting toes up towards the shin, and we're keeping the heels well off the ground. It's slow, deliberate. What we're after is time under tension for those calf muscles, it's time holding you in that heel off the ground position, that plantar flex position. Again, we're working through for one minute. Again, this is a follow along video, so by all means, just start out and copy everything I'm doing. Again, takes a bit of control, takes a bit of balance, but that's no bad thing for us to be training either, especially after an ankle injury. Yeah, I can certainly start to feel this now in my calves. My heels are happily still high off the ground. I'm gonna go for one more length. This is good. Back and forth, up and down with the toes. Good. Okay, really starting to feel that now in that lower calf region, sort of soleus region. That's ideal. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of each. So we're gonna heel walks. Again, the temptation is to rush these and to turn it into a little forward stagger, but I want you to be upright and slow and deliberate with your movements. Okay, try not to bend forwards. Try and keep yourself in a nice tall position, really pulling the toes and the feet up towards your shin so only the heels can touch the ground there. That's good. I'm gonna go another 30 seconds. Do one minute again. I can feel now in this second set that my feet are wanting to drop. My feet are wanting to come down flat to the ground, but I'm having to fight to stop that from happening. Okay, now we'll swap. Onto the toes, last minute. Then we're gonna move on into more balance and stability focused exercise which is really going to start to challenge a lot of those little stabilizers, both around the ankle, but also up around the hip as well. Okay, single leg stability is about more than just ankle stability, but of course, if you've had an ankle injury, we need to make sure we really do train stability. Because what happens is that sometimes, the, especially if you've had a ligament damage or significant soft tissue damage full stop, your ability to perceive movement at the ankle, what we refer to as proprioception,
gets affected. And we need to make sure that we can start training that again. So your ankles, kind of think of it as natural kind of writing mechanism. And I'm sure we've all had that feeling where we've kind of half stepped off a curb or half stepped on a bit of uneven ground and we've caught ourselves just before we sprain our ankle. You think, wow, that was close. And you kind of, you almost check, you almost check yourself you're like, no, no, I'm, I'm okay. Unfortunately, that's obviously not how it happens every time. That's how we got ourselves in a situation where perhaps you've had an ankle sprain, but it's those muscles, muscles like your perineals in particular, that as you are gonna go turn your ankle, they catch it and they'll help provide that stability and that writing force to bring you straight. We can start training those guys now. So I'm gonna have you standing on one leg, little knee bend on that standing leg, and in that position, I want you to gently clench your butt, okay? Draw your belly button in, engage your core. Hands together. I want you to make sure you don't claw your toes as you do this. We're gonna go big letter A, big letter B, big letter C, D, E, we're gonna do the full alphabet. F, G, H, you can do this uppercase or lowercase. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So each one of those X, each one of those letter, letters is obviously a different shape and therefore requires you to move in a different pattern as we're moving. And the bigger the, the bigger the movement of the arms, so that is obviously a lot easier than that. The bigger the movement of the arms, the more motion your body has to control, the more your ankle has to stabilize. After doing that first set, I can really feel the work around the ankle and the lower leg. And again, that's why it's important to engage your glutes, engage your core, because the, the better you can stabilize around there, the less work your ankle will have to do, or extra work your ankle will have to do to pick up the slack. The less you engage around here, the more it becomes all about the ankle. So, we want the ankle working alongside everything else. Good. We've got one more exercise coming after this. So stick around. W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, so you could do one set on each side, full alphabet, or you could do it twice over on each side. You'll challenge yourself a little bit more. From there, I want to move into lateral hops. A bit more advanced, okay, if you're only just coming back after an ankle injury. Go easy with this one, but if you're feeling like you're ready to get back into running outside and, and challenging yourself with various different movements, this is a good one to work with. Single leg hops, we can pick a line on the ground, be it imaginary or real. We're gonna hop from side to side, side to side. I want you to land it, think about sticking it like a gymnast. Okay, so we're proving that we've got the control and the stability. That wasn't as good. We could do multiple hops or just do single hops. It's up to you. But it's important we hop to the left and the right on each given foot. We're gonna do 20. I have no idea how many this is, but we'll call that 20. You can certainly feel that. And we'll do this one to the count of 20. Six, 
and that's 20. You can probably see that that's quite a challenge. I had to catch myself a couple of times there, but lateral movement is really good for our ankles because that's where sometimes we really struggle. Okay, folks, I'd love to know how you get on with this. Let me know in the comments if this is something you found helpful. And of course, I'll make more of these videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you soon.